For everyone who partakes only of milk is not accustomed to the word of righteousness, for he is an infant. We have these decades-old Christians that are unable to find books of the Bible. It takes them forever to find something in their Bible. Is it too much trouble to learn the order of the books of your Bible so that you can hold it in your, in your lap and find a verse? Is it that hard? I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to shame anybody. I'm not trying to... I'm, I'm, I, I, what I'm saying might embarrass some people. Is it that hard? They're unable to find a verse because they don't know where that book is. They're unable to show basic verses to support their faith. And so somebody challenges it and they freeze. They're scared. Oh, 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 that worries me so much because they're not reading their Bible. They don't know how to present the gospel to someone. But they can quote internet preachers. So what's your Bible really? YouTube? There's a problem coming along. There's, there's some, some worries that uh, what's, what might be happening soon, and this may be, this may be taking place, is that with artificial intelligence, um, the online Bibles that we may be using, that people use on their phone all the time, they may prove to be corrupted. I'm not trying to be conspiracy theory, but we know that one of the first things that the darkness tries to do is take your Bibles out of your hands. If they can't physically take it out of your hands, they make you so dull of hearing that you're not paying attention anymore. So how will you know if someone has handed you a corrupted version of Scripture that many today are claiming as hate speech? How will you know the difference if you're not already familiar with it? Is that a good question? So maybe I'd have a hard copy. And know the order of the books of the Bible so you can find stuff. So whose fault is it that we can, we can quote internet preachers, but we can't quote the Bible for ourselves because of what we've read ourselves? Whose fault is that? The leadership. It's the professional Christians. We set you up for this. We're the ones that brought in the dancers and the rappers and the smoke machines. There's a theme I hit on often. We're the ones that made it seem like you must have us or you cannot function as a Christian. Come and this narcissistic self-centeredness, glory hounding. We've set ourselves up. We've put ourselves in the seat of Moses. We've set ourselves next to the throne of God and thrown crumbs to the people and said, no, I've got this for you. We haven't pushed back into your laps the, the simple reality that life is hard. Being a Christian is harder and you're going to have to do some heavy lifting. And we haven't equipped you to do that heavy lifting. Some of the best advice that I got um, as, I was, as I was trying to fit into this role as, as the pulpiteer at New Creation Church. How's that for a bunch of syllables? <laughs> I always thought that was a funny term, pulpiteer. You know, like you're up here with a saddle, you know, yeah! Anyway, one of the things, some of the best advice, I was trying so hard to come up with something that wasn't like, you've heard this a million times. I want to do this a little, a little different, to come up with some new angle, some, some little deeper insight. And my friend says, reached over, touched my arm, says, whoa, 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 Dave. Think for a minute. Where are these people coming from? They have come from congregations, which will not be named, who have not been taught basic, solid Bible and theology. They have never been taught this and that's not their fault. So many of them don't even know the difference. So you start with the basics. You give them the solid meat and potatoes. That's what they're going to need. I embellished that a little bit, but that what really rang in my, my ear was remember where they've come from. Suddenly it was very clear what I have to do. Verse by verse. Every week. 
We're going to teach you the scriptures or I don't want to be here. And if I'm not teaching the scriptures, you shouldn't be here. Not that you don't want to be, you shouldn't be here. Go find someplace that's going to teach the Bible. Go there. 